Hi, good afternoon, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of I Shake My Head with Lisa and Sam. Hi, everybody. <laughs> it is a lovely day here in Saskatoon. We finally have sun and no rain. It's about 17 degrees out, which is kind of nice for us. Still screwing socks. Still screwing socks. And we are in a park-like setting, which is kind of nice. It's kind of it's kind of serene. I don't really see that. As, I don't really see it as that because I just see some like dead trees. Okay, can you visualize? The oh, leaves. okay. Like Bob Ross painting. Yeah. Tiny little birds. Happy little birds. Fluffy little clouds. Happy <laughs> little clouds. Right? Happy little fur. Happy, happy little birds. Tiny little clouds. Right? Just a little up uh, here. Exactly. Okay, okay, I'm there. Okay. I'm there. You're there? I'm there. Okay. Yep. So, today we're, we're going to touch on the topic we talked about the last time, which is we text during certain shows during the week. Yeah. And we, we were discussing this, and I think... You you figured out when we started doing it. Yeah, this. we started. I think we started. I think I think we owe it all to American Idol. Uh, yeah. Right, because I think back in the day with American Idol, because it was a judge based show, we felt that we too were a little <laughs> qualified <laughs> and a little surprised that we hadn't been asked to be part of the panel. <laughs> when, especially when they went through the okay, now we have J Lo and then we had Ellen, and it's like, what's wrong with Lisa and what's wrong with Sam? <laughs> Not sure why we weren't being picked, but I think that that's what started it. Because I think we felt I can do much better than what yeah. they are doing. And we and then we would like argue with each other, yeah, because we didn't always agree. Because you always you're all about the singer with the big note, and I'm all about do we need that singer? Yes, we do. Do we need another yes, one of those girls? Yeah, we do. Right? Yeah. And you were all like, "Ooh, she sang a beautiful Whitney," and I'm like, "Ooh, don't sing Whitney." No. Well, yeah, but then we were very honest. Like, if they killed a song, yeah, oh yeah, brutally really like, honest. They're done. Done. I think we were always pretty good at predicting who would be leaving. Yeah, but then... Based on what they were singing. You know, and I think based on who we were choosing to, I think was helping. Yeah. And I think, you know, I think like some of the years they had some good singers, so it was easy. But then there was like that year with Carrie Underwood and Bo Bice. Oh, I remember. remember? I think you liked Bo Bice. <laughs> no, he was... I'm pretty sure you were cheering yeah, him. Yeah, where is he now? I know, but I think that he was your pick and mine was Carrie Underwood. No, I don't think so. I th- I'm pretty no, sure. I don't think so. I don't know. And no. there's just, you know, there's always a part of me that thinks that I kind of helped, you know, pave the way for Carrie. No, you did not. Somehow put in a good word? No, you didn't. Well, I think maybe there like was subconsciously? No, no not, okay. not really. Okay, fine. Not, there, re- not but really. It, but if there could be words, I would have put them in. Yes, and... That's I'm sure that they would have all been like, oh my God, Lisa, thank you. you. The best. And I'd be like, I know, you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome, Carrie Underwood, wherever you may be. Okay, but this habit continued. Continued. And continues to this day. Because yeah. we still. Samantha, text. we are texters. Yes, we we are. text. We text. So, so instead of long conversations, you know, for like after you get home from work, like, hey, Lisa, how's it going? We text. Hey, are you watching The Voice at six? Yes, I am. Okay, and then we and then because we watched The Voice, but unfortunately yeah. this year we're this over year, The Voice. I I think we're we're not we're not excited. We're, we're not excited to be judges anymore. I think we're kind of done with The Voice. Yeah, because I think that I don't know. You know what though? I think you kind of. I don't really like watching The Voice with you as much anymore because the first few years of The Voice, I was like Team Adam, and you were like team whoever and then every I year I know but the problem was the first year it was like you picked your person and I just assumed, and you had to stick with your person yeah right and you had to, that was the rules and I just assumed that you would have continued on with the loyalty but you didn't and nope. you like started to waver and I'll I'll let you know after round seven and yeah I'll let, I do that uh, I'll let you know I'll let you know what judge I'm backing on the finale and this is all through text right? guys yeah right we, hashtag I'm is. not picking my judge until until the halfway mark of the finale that we're watching right now, right? <laughs> because she always makes me choose during the battles. No. Bullshit, Samantha. Yeah, during the battle round. Yeah, when a show like starts is yeah. when you should pick your team. No. You should pick your coach. I wait. Because I want to see what kind of people they pick. Because she won't. She's not loyal. Yeah, whatever. I'm just saying. Anyways, so, but. That's where it started. The only rule we have, because we watch Chicago Fire together, which yep. we're not totally crazy about. Not so much this year. Meh. Chicago Med. Love, love, love. Love, love, love. And Chicago love Med. Chicago PD. Although last week's, you sent me last week during Chicago PD. Are we loving this episode? Well, because it was boring. Yeah. And I it was, was like. a little bit boring. But but the ending got but better. But then it got better. But then the ending got yeah. better. So right? she told me to stick with it. I'm like, oh, fine. All through text. This is all texting. Because you know why? You know why I think it's fun to be doing texting? Because like on the phone, that's so grade nine. 
right? That's like so grade nine. And we're not grade nine. We're, uh, we're, we're 47 year old women. So we're not all about the phone. Hashtag who needs the phone. We just text. And you hate talking on the phone. And anyway. I hate the phone so anyway. So, right? So it's a win win. You know, but yeah, I think, so I think that that's what's funny and, and there with, with the texting, there are a few rules that come along with it. Well, there's only really one rule. Okay. And that's member. Okay. We love the blacklist. Love the blacklist. We're obsessed with. Love it. With Reddington. We love mm -hmm. him. <laughs> So the rule he is... put fine back into a bald-headed man I somehow. Know, and a punch. Weird. Bald-headed man and a punch. And a punch. Yeah. Who knew? And a fedora. And, and it's a like, fedora. man, he hot. In <laughs> a weird way. And if he wields a gun, I'm good. <laughs> Apparently, that's who we're looking for. Uh, that's what I'm looking for in a man at 47. A bald-headed paunch. I don't think your husband needs to know that, but But he's not me, bald. <laughs> you know, yeah, that's true. But for me, apparently... That's, that's your go-to look. A bald-headed man with a paunch gets my lady parts going. <laughs> And that, my friends, might be too much information it for might me. Be too much. But whatever. I'm Sharon, I don't really care. Whatever. And I'm not shaming. <laughs> no. I'm not shaming. So, <laughs> the, the, the rule is for the blacklist, no texting during the show. You can only text only during text. commercials. It's commercial only texting. So, I'm expecting, usually when we go through <laughs> a really kind of intense scene. Because it's an intense show. For Lisa to go, what the hell is going on? That's not. The, I don't understand. That is not the. That's not the text. You that I always sent. text that. No, what I sent to you no. is I sent to you. <laughs> no, I, okay, you don't. I do that because I want to make sure that you understand what's going on. So when I text that. And then you reply back with what you think is going on. Then I'm like, okay, good. Glad to know that you're on the no, same page as me. You want me to explain it to no, you? No, I don't. So you could go, oh yeah, that's what's good. Oh yeah, that's right. I thought the same thing. That's, no, you didn't. That's, no, you that didn't. is. Well, you know, you're holy. And there's the problem with texting right there, friends of the podcast. Misinterpretation. <laughs> Right? Huge misinterpretation. That's exactly. Just you, like an email. Because you can't hear me going. No, you didn't. <laughs> right? And then when you do that and you put a winky face, winky face makes the whole world better. Right? A smiley face. Smiley face with a wink. Makes everything Everything's better, good, right? You can tell someone right? to fuck off, but if you add a smiley face, it's all good to go. I think you're stupid, winky. Good to go. Right? <laughs> Which is kind of funny, too. Right? Right? Winky, winky face. face. I like winky face. <laughs> the world is a better place because of winky. Right? The world is a better place for for a smiley face at the end of every sentence of everything especially when you're asking people what to do and the other beauty in text now that we're bring, now that we've bring now that we've segued and now we're talking about what we love about texting what about dot 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 I love dot dot I dot I love it. <laughs> completely used out of context dot 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 all the time dot 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 in my world should be on like the cover of Time Magazine people of the year dot 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 because it's like the most used Right? It's how you get out of writing an entire sentence. Entire sentence. It's how you jump from one subject to another. It yeah. is dot dot dot. It is it is so right? misused right? but well loved. How was work today? <laughs> dot, 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 dot dot dot. I'm having hot dogs for supper. <laughs> dot, 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 dot dot dot. Voice at six. <laughs> dot dot dot. <laughs> That's totally it's it. Totally it. Oh my god! It's totally that is our conversations right constantly there. through text. Yeah. Sentence dot dot dot. Sentence dot dot dot. It's completely it. Oh my god! It's completely it. We are totally that's those it. people. We are, We're, those? we are like the English night English word dictionary nightmare. We are those best friends. We are not punctually literate or literate. There's sorry. nothing proper about oh my god. it. We are oh my god. We, we are those people. Oh. We apparently are. But that's what's that's that's what's so special about our friendship, Samantha. We're special, all yeah. right. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh. Dot dot dot. Well, and, <laughs> and who has to endure the run-on sentence? You do. Me. I'm a run-on sentencer. Oh my god. Even with the dot dot dot. And it's like she didn't even take a breath through the whole thing. No, because I'm just typing, <laughs> and that's how my mind goes. My mind just runs on, so I just. And, and, I, and she's still going. Because how long can this take? It can go a long oh time. Oh my god. But the beauty is that I, I think that if there's ever a competition, and I've said this before, if there's ever a competition for the fastest texter, it's me. My two thumbs, man, I can go. I can go and go That's and true. go. That's true. I've seen it in action, people. It's fast. It's fast. Just Nothing saying. about me is fast, but my thumbs, woo, crazy. Right? <laughs> oh, my They're God. just crazy. How did we get on that? Oh, my God. Winky face took Winky us there. Winky face took us there. Winky face oh took us God. there. Oh, my God. Yeah. That a little so off funny. topic, friend. Sorry. 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 Not sorry. Sorry, not sorry, because that sorry. was funny. It was funny. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It was funny. So, <laughs> we, we have, like, a... Uh, a thing between the two of us if we're tired one of us says 
I'm kind of tired. I yeah. Think, I and think usually it's, it's you. I think it's time to tap out. Yeah. And usually it's you. <laughs> and then, and then when, when I get that message from, from Sam, I feel that I need to, okay, you know what? Let me get the BFF checklist out and I get my handbook and my little, my little book of what all, how to apply to the, how, what, how you apply to that. And I have a checklist and the checklist goes like this. So I get my text from Samantha early saying, I think I'm really tired and I think I have to tap out. And then there's a checklist and I'm like, okay, I text her back saying, that's okay because it's dark check <laughs> you're tired check you old check your secret's safe with me samantha you can go to bed nobody will ever know that you went to bed before the adult bedtime of whatever that might be <laughs> what is an adult bedtime anyway? i think it has to at least be 10 Sometimes I'm tapping up before 10. Lots of times you're tapping yeah, up before 10. I'm just tired. Yeah. And then and then when, with the nice weather, then we add... Oh, it gets tough. Oh, it gets tough because it's sunny. So then we add to the checklist, do you have the... Uh, what is it? Blackout curtains. Blackout curtains. Because <laughs> you have to have that. That has yeah. to be checked too. And yeah. Then off you go. Your secret's safe. Nobody needs to know that you went to bed at 9.30 tonight. <laughs> okay. And the sun's still out. <laughs> the sun's still out. The kids are still playing in the park. <laughs> Right? The street light. If the street lights aren't on, You're you going may to, be going to bed too going early. To bed too early. <laughs> but if you have a BFF who's got your back, she's not going to tell anybody. No, she won't. Right? And that's, that's the beauty of the BFF. Yeah. There's a code There's slash a code. handbook. Handbook. That there are things that you can tell each other, and there will be no judging. No judging. No judging. And there are situations where you don't have to say thank you about everything. Yeah, because it's just can, it's part of. Right? What Part of the job a, description. Yeah, being a Beth, BFF is, right? like, you just do it. Like you don't have to thank you everything. No, you don't. Right? I get it. Yeah. You and get even it. though they do say thank you, you just got to type back because we're texting. Because we're texting. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lisa, it's in the handbook. It's in section sub whatever. Right? Page 42. <laughs> Page 42. No need of, to thank. Yeah. Right? So... This is how we kind of run. We've ran our friendship for 16 odd years. Samantha, do you know that if, if that in Canada, that if I killed somebody and had second degree murder, I, my sentence would almost be over. <laughs> and yet so are you saying that being best friends is like a lifelong sentence? It's a lifelong, it's a lifelong something. Oh my God. It's a lifelong something. Yeah. Well, I'm sentenced to always having to go along with your strange oh, obsession. not strange. Yes. They, okay. Guys, I get it. The weather's coming. It's nice. Yeah. So, there are going to be food trucks. Yeah. Lisa has an obsession with the snack Let's climb map into the food truck. app. The yeah. snack map app. And I don't know if every, I don't know if everybody has it or if it's just special no. in Saskatoon. I groan at this. I literally, when she told oh. me that she was getting, she was I downloaded I'm like, it about a month ago. Oh my God. Because the last time we went food truck <laughs> hopping, I got so sick because <laughs> she made me eat from like how many different ones? Okay. It went like this. Hot dog. Check. Hamburger, check. Oh. Burrito, check. Oh. We had Italian sausage, meatball sub, And then a grilled check. cheese. And then a grilled cheese, That's check. five things yeah. in the span of like hours. But we did not go for ice cream. Oh, thank God. I don't, I probably would have puked. But you know what the thing was, Samantha, is that I was so worried that, that, that like what happened just, like, like you were never going to eat from a we're, food truck? You were never going to see another food truck. <laughs> and then I realized that the Snack Map app tells me every day where that food truck is thank god for the app then because yeah. can we just do one a yeah, day because guess what there's a new or not one. even one a day like one every week or something yeah, one they'll a, be around for a while i know because now it's the season so i downloaded it about a month ago when the weather started to get nice and nobody was really nobody was out there nobody was happening no so what happens is that all these food trucks local food trucks they send you they they send you a, an update to let you know where boats they're located mm -hmm. and that's the beauty of food trucks because everybody loves a food truck but nobody ever knows where they are true saskatoon not that problem they're here they're here they're here they're here and i work downtown and they're always downtown yes so this year there was one that's new to the to to the snack map app and it started early and it's been taunting me and it's a cuban jerk truck <laughs> yeah so so you I you are like, not gonna eat cuban food. yeah i think no, i am you're not i think so because no, it's been I... taunting me and i'm like really i'm coming for you what you will not like Cuban food. Now, people, I don't say this in a mean way because Lisa sometimes does try, she does try food that is not in her regular repertoire. Cuban food, so far out of your comfort zone 
that but, you are not going to like this. But sometimes I just want to try something You'll take one new. bite of it, you'll take one bite, <laughs> and not want to eat the rest. I can guarantee that. Really? Yes. I can guarantee uh, it. No, I'm going to watch you do it. I'm going to watch you pay for the food. Cause I and I'm going to watch you... F- not that the food will be bad. No. But you will not like it. Because you are extremely picky. It's like... About food. It's like... It's like where I... It's like where I... No, it's like where I get my bus. It's like where I pick up my bus. And right beside there is the spicy bite. And it smells so good, the spicy bite. You are not eating the spicy bite. And the spicy bite... Spicy bite has a food truck. I know. I know. But you're not eating that either. It smells so good. Because just... The word spicy is not in your <laughs> repertoire of food. I don't it know. It is not there. I don't know. What I do know for Okay, sure. you know what? Mm-hmm. We're going. Cuban yeah. food truck, yeah, yeah, yeah. count me okay. in. I'll eat the food. Yeah. I you will are too. not going to eat the food. But, uh, but and then you're going to be like, Sam, can we go to the food truck? I think I'm really feeling like a grilled cheese or a hot dog. <laughs> and then we'll have to go find that food truck because you will not be eating the I know, Cuban truck. But I, but, but I think because it's in a food truck, it's going to be different than what okay. you think. Guess what, guys? This will be a podcast when we start going to these Which trucks. We'll let truck. you know how it goes. Yeah. But what I do we'll know for sure know. is that this Friday, they say it's supposed to be 26. And I work downtown Saskatoon. And two blocks from where I work, every summer on the corner by the TD Bank is a hot dog truck. Or a hot dog stand. Is it a stand? Yeah, it's a hot dog oh, I love stand. Those hot dog yeah, well I tell you, guess who's taking who's guess who's having a hot dog for lunch? Oh she you know she's serious, two people. Blocks, when two she's blocks. walking two blocks walking for two food. Blocks. <laughs> like, ding, it's lunchtime, I'll be ding. back. That's how I do it. Right? <laughs> I'll be back. Right? Excuse me, I have to go get my hot dog. Yeah, sorry ma'am, it won't take me long, it's only two blocks away. Because they're only there till two. No, that's true. They right? Right? And right when you work in a downtown mall, right, it's busy from twelve to one, so you got a short window. So gotta go, gotta go. Yeah, so sadly, ladies still in the department, guess what? It's food truck time, gotta go. That's what I'll be doing. But but I can't wait, I'm so excited. Okay. But with this beautiful weather, and I'm very thankful for it, has come baseball season uh, and that is lisa's other fanatical not quite this year so far obsession. well because they're not doing great yeah and how do i know that you don't know lisa, that lisa told me right that. you don't know that they're doing not now, great. okay now you have to let me explain okay, though fine. Calm down. i get a little frustrated when okay like, oh, so again because we're, like we're, best, we're best friends right so she shares with me she loves her toronto blue jays has forever she's not just a new fan she's I'm been not. a long life Long life friend, but a real, but a, but a long life fan hasn't had, didn't need to cheer for about twenty five years. That's true because they sucked for they a were long not time. good. So, and I'm like, and she gets like, oh, we're gonna watch, and I, I don't watch sports. I don't care to watch sports. I don't want to look at it. You probably don't even have one sports app on your phone. Nope. Right? Ooh, no, 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 no. I got three. No, no, no. So what I came up with a couple years ago, <laughs> as she's texting me while she's watching her <laughs> book. Because right, because because there's no. This is all about texting. Because there's no. Because there's no boundaries. No, there's no boundaries. So she's texting me about Blue Jays, and I'm like, I don't give a shit. And and then I thought, she needs my support. I need your support. Because usually she's texting me. She'll text me I'm winning or out, losing. Man, I'm reaching out. Yeah. So I created hashtag fake fan. You did the fake fan, and I think the fake fan has saved my ass more than once. You know what, Smith? <laughs> the fake fan has helped me out of many a dark place. See, because fake fan can be positive. Yep. Right? They need that. Le- when your Blue Jays suck, she's like, stay positive. Stay, you know what? The stay fake positive. fake fan never lets you down. Yeah. The birds are going to fly again. Right? That's you trying to come up with a really so, strange hashtag. Right? So I'll send a message. So I'll, I'm watching the game, yeah. and I'll send a text to Sam saying, so I'm watching the Jays, and they're just not doing well. They, they're, they're losing three to two. What does the fake fan send back? Go, Blue Jays, go. Right? Makes the real fan think, yeah, go, Jays, go. I was getting a little down. Go, Jays, go. <laughs> then game goes on how it's been this year. Game goes on. The bullpen comes in, and the Jays start losing. And then I send a message to my friend, Samantha, Sam, the Jays were winning, and now they're losing. Bullpen came in. What's the fake fan do? Hashtag stay positive. Stay positive. And then I'm like, you're right. Stay positive. <laughs> and then the game's over. And then I send her another message saying, yeah, so the Jays suck and they lose. And I'm never watching the Blue Jays again. And what does the fake fan do? There's always another game. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then the real fan's like, you're right. There is always another game. Thanks, fake fan. Because you know what, guys? It'll be, it's so easy to just think of something quickly to go like just boost them up and it or works ride the excitement with them yeah you know it's and quick it, it's easy and it's it's and it, it, it helps so i think every friend 
everybody who's a sports fan needs a fake fan mm-hmm. because totally. they're there for you. Exactly. When it's like, and it's a long baseball season. You, you know, the beauty of a fake fan mm. is that they're there for your team. Absolutely. We don't have a favorite. No. So we're there for whatever you're cheering for. Yeah. That is the beauty of us. Right? We adapt right? to whatever situation. Samantha, there's been, time, there's been times for fake fan. Even like sometimes I like to watch golf or curling and fake fans been there for... <laughs> Hope they get a birdie. But yeah, and I'm thinking in my mind, fake fans got no clue what that even means. No. Right? Hope, no. Right? Or, or text during curling. Yeah, it's really, really close between with Team Canada. And fake fan will reply back, get the stone in the middle. And I'm like, <laughs> fake fans got no clue. No. Hurry hard. Hurry hard. <laughs> Hurry hard. Right? Right? That's the beauty of the fake fan. That's completely the beauty right? of the fake fan. Absolutely. She's awesome. Yeah. You know what? It's, you know, the fake fan has come in handy. Although, I'm going to toot my own horn right now. Because the fake fan also is a little bit, she, she's not really versed in, in all of the sports and no. the championships, but Samantha does work in retail, so she does come across a lot of people, you know, who might have the ball cap on or wear their jersey or whatever. So I, as a true friend, believe that I need to let Sam know a couple times a year when it's time for, like, it's a big playoff game yeah. or it's like Stanley Cup, like, I feel it's my responsibility to let her know who's playing, who she should be cheering for, and who will most likely win. Actually, this has come in handy during Rough Rider season. Absolutely. Because people come into the Because you're store, not following it. They come in with their jerseys yeah. and stuff, and I'm like, oh, yeah, big game day. So, and I'm like, Lisa told me about that. Right? I told you, big game day. <laughs> so, right? I can actually have a conversation with a gentleman yeah. or a kid or whoever's wearing the game jersey. And have no clue. And have no clue, but they look like, I look like I'm a fan. And they walk away going, oh, that's kind of a great conversation. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. See? Helps me all the time. Absolutely. But you know what? I will say this. I try to watch, like, if you're watching something, yeah. I will try and figure On out. On the commercial, you might flip. Yeah. To figure out where your team is, <laughs> just so I know if I'm needed. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> right? And lately, for the Jays, you're needed. Big fans yes. needed. But I do not invest any time in actually watching anything. No. Because <laughs> I feel that's not me. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's not your purpose. But that's the beauty of a fake fan. She doesn't have to. She doesn't have to. And it can be a he. A he can be a fake fan. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's no... Uh, Just mine isn't. Mine's a she. Yeah. Yeah. So, absolutely. use it wisely, people. Completely. So I'm saying, yeah. go forth go, I and agree. be your best fake fan. I agree 100% with that. <laughs> you know. Samantha, do you have an I shake my head moment this week? I think I do. Yeah. Um, it just happened recently. <laughs> When? Like, like, <laughs> like how today. Is, oh, like, come on. Yes, you know what? You're becoming... A, oh. a, well, because you make me... Sh- Lisa, you're a strange person. I'm quirky. No, you're strange. Not strange. And, <laughs> okay, so this is what happens. Because it's nice out. We decided, hey, let's have some ice cream. Because, you know, it's hot. Really? This is about the Dairy Queen? Yeah, this is about Dairy Queen. I don't even know so, what I did. Okay, shush. Okay. So... We're ordering, I ordered a medium moo latte or whatever the hell it is. And she asked to see the sizes for milkshakes. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. So she's like, I'll take a large. I look at her. You're not going to drink that whole thing. Yeah. No, I'm going to take a large. Take a large. Okay. So she get. we we'll sit down. Home. Yeah. We sit, we sit down. I get my medium. She gets her large. What does she say when the guy walks away? I'm not going to drink all that. <laughs> you never were. You never do. But you still do it. Well, every time. I know that. Every time. Yes. It's with food. It's with sizes of drinks. You always get too much. And then you drink a quarter. If we're if you're lucky, you drink half of what's mm. there. Maybe. Maybe. But, and then your excuse is, but what if today's the day? What if today I drink is the day? I drink the whole thing. I drink the large and I only ordered a small and then I'm like so thirsty. <laughs> what if today's the day? But never. In the 16 years, again, I, I have to say this, in the 16 years we've known each other, you have never finished a drink. But it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter what size. I threw yeah. just the other, last week, I threw away a small Tim Hortons <laughs> coffee with over half of the <laughs> coffee still there. I know. That was the tiny, wee, tiny thing. I wasn't that thirsty. <laughs> right? It was boggles my mind. I know. Makes me shake my head. But one day I'm going to do it. That's I have fun. no faith in that Well, whatsoever. Well, guess what, Miss Smarty Pants? <laughs> you are my shake my head moment, too. Oh. And it also takes place at a restaurant. Or, let me say, every restaurant. Because Samantha... Has a weak bladder. 
I do not have a weak bladder. Okay, then it's odd that, uh, that... I go to the bathroom when I have to go to the bathroom. You go to the bathroom like a 10-year-old does in a restaurant. When my sister and I were young, <laughs> my, we'd be like, Mom, I gotta go to the bathroom. You don't have to go, dear. You just want to see the bathroom, and that's like Yes, you. but I'm an adult, and I actually do have to use the I washroom. I know, but it, I think it's just funny that you need to go to the bathroom in every single restaurant we go to. I drank a lot of coffee today. I know, but, but every day you do that. <laughs> Tim Hortons bathroom. Right? Shut up! I'm just saying. I right? cannot believe you're shaming me right now for using a washroom. I'm not I'm not shaming. Yes, you are. No, no, I just think it's odd. Okay, uh, then I have something else I need to tell okay, people. Fine. Go ahead. You won't use a washroom unless someone else has gone first to see if it's clean. Only if it's public. <laughs> Only if it's a public one. She... Every time I... Because uh, I rule my bladder. <laughs> every time I go to the bathroom, she'll ask me, is it good? And when she says that, she means, is it clean? Is it clean? <laughs> Right? Because I'm not just going in any bathroom. You're so strange. <laughs> that's how I that's how I roll. Oh. Samantha, what are we talking about next week? But first we have to tell them. Oh sorry. It's exciting news. I forgot. I didn't want to toot my own horn. No. Sorry. That's toot, funny. Toot that's, away. that's funny coming from you. Toot away. Okay. On Instagram guys, we have a new Instagram account called Dear Dude on the Bus. The which bus. is Dear, dear oh, sorry, Dude on the Bus. Dear Dude on the Bus. Um, because Lisa does something on her Facebook page about how she rides the bus every day and some weird stuff usually happens almost oh, every day. Almost every day. And she posts it and they're really funny. I will say this. They are yeah. really quite entertaining. Thank you. So if you want to check that out and have a good little chuckle, um, it's called Dear Dude on the Bus. Dear Dude on the Bus on Instagram. Instagram. Absolutely. Yeah. Check it out. It's kind of funny. Should. It's kind of fun. Yeah. So next week we are going to talk about things that maybe we shouldn't do because we're of a certain age. Yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> if you use the phrase, am I too old for this? You Ch- might be. <laughs> Chances are, you are. You are. And now but you might be. I and now know. what we're going to do is we're going to spend all week <laughs> questioning, am I too old for this? And then next week's podcast, we're going to look for verification that we are not. Yeah. That's what we're about. So think about that, folks. And uh, thanks for ju- for joining us again today. Walk with purpose. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Samantha. Always a pleasure. Oh, whatever.